Lovely. Good evening. Welcome. My name is Morag Butler, and uh, welcome back to Rawson Court. This evening we have um, we have John Wilkes plus. Um, we have ho um, horse thieves. Yeah. And also we have Jerry Colvin. Can't get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Right. Uh, as usual, everybody in the room is entered in the raffle. Anyone at home? Anyone at home? Um, if you uh, donate during the, this performance, please donate. That would be great. And you will be entered for the raffle. If you want, you can join in the chat. If you join in the chat, you will also be entered in the raffle. Hurrah. Yeah. And what will you win? Well, you won the jet ski last week. You will win a CD of John Wilkes. Hurrah. Or... No. Second prize, a who gives a crap toilet roll. Hooray! <laughs> and if you're in the room, win the CD, and you want to swap it for the um, toilet roll, please could you do it out of the earshot of John Wilkes? Because <laughs> it does it does make people cry when that happens. It's just oh, I've um, I've gone all static. Right, okay. I'm going to sing you a song, a quickie, and then um, Horse Themes are going to sing you a, a quick song. Um, Jerry Colvin's going to sing you a song, and then we'll have John Wilkes on, okay? <coughs> okay. A blacksmith courted me Nine months and better he said he'd marry me, wrote me a letter with his hammer in his hand. He looked quite clever, and if I were with my love, I would live forever. Oh, where has my love gone with his cheeks like roses and with his best hat on decked with primroses? I'm afraid the burning song will scorch and spoil his beauty and if i were with my love i would do my duty strange news has come to town strange news is carried strange news goes up and down that my love is married. I wish them both good joy, though they can't hear me, and may God reward them well for the slighting of me. Do you remember when you lay beside said you'd marry me and not deny me if i said i'd marry you it was only for to try you so bring your witness love and i'll not deny Lighting of me. Her eyes grew pale and wan. It made her poor heart shiver to think she'd loved a man who would prove deceitful. A blacksmith courted me. Nine months and 
Thank you. Horse Thieves, welcome them onto the stage, please. Good evening. We're going to sing a song now about an Irish girl that comes over in the 50s. Hang on. New guitar, can't find it. Comes over in the 50s uh, to England from Ireland to make a living, send money home, but it doesn't quite work out that way. It's our penned by us. It's called Roisin. Sixteen on the boat of the Liverpool Make my way to London, it's 1952 But no blacks or Irish and the streets aren't paved with gold No blacks or Irish, you've been told, you've been told First weeks down the church at Pudding Lane And I'd start that fire if I could be born again But anything is better off than living in County Clare We seem to grow rocks in the fields over there, over there been told Rushing she found it hard to make ends meet Living in a damp basement, no water and no heat Rushing just 16 thought she knew the ways of the world Soon fell under the wing of those nighttime girls Nighttime girls Yeah, been told. Is something that she said Only finding comfort with a stranger in my bed But here she lays now Washed up at Limehouse Reach A baby swivel to her chest And a wing tied to her feet To her feet No blacks or Irish And the streets are paved with gold Yeah, been told. Last time they saw her was on Blackfriars Bridge parapet. She just stepped straight off there into water as black as pitch. But anything is better off than living in County Clare. Anything is better off than the shame going back there. No blacks, no Irish, the streets are paved with gold. No blacks, no Irish, you've been told. No blacks or Irish, and the streets are paved with gold. Been told. Thank you. Thank you. Oh,
brilliant. There's more from horse thieves in the second half for the people of us who are in the room. Hooray. And now we're gonna, we're gonna have um, Jerry Colvin. Jerry Colvin, everybody! <laughs> ah, wonderful. Hello. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Hello, it's a pleasure to be at Rosling Court. It's a fantastic venue. Please spread the word. Um, ironically, I'm down here for um, a project that Morag has, uh, has started about people's Englishness and what their concept of Englishness is in the 21st century and uh, what that means to live in England in the 21st century. And it is the most peculiar thing, because I was trying to get my head around it, and some of the answers I've got from the talking to people in Margate have been amazing. I've been invited in as a Midlander, as an outsider, to see what Margate is like. And I got lost in Margate today, and I went down residential street, and I can't believe this. this is, and in one of the windows, there was a huge Union flag, and... Uh, or as Union Jack, as some people call it. And underneath it was a piece of A4 paper and uh, stuck on the window, it, and it said, it's not right, which I thought was really peculiar. And I looked at this bit of paper and I said, that person in that house is absolutely, I agree with them, it's not right, because they'd forgotten the apostrophe in it's. And then it suddenly made me think, that's my Englishness, that's my stupidity to think that something so trivial as a little trick of apostrophe makes me feel angry. And it reminded me, and that's why I want to do this song, it reminded me of a song, uh, 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 it, and it's about a pub just down the road from me in, in the Midlands, and it's called The Four Rules. Uh, uh, do, you, do you have a pub around here called The Four Rules? It's a bizarre thing. It's a, it's a medieval poem uh, really made up by the Victorians, which is another thing that sums up England. And it's the king rules all, the knight protects all, the priest prays for all, but the people pay for all. I don't know about you, but I feel like a member of the fourth all kind. And I, I wrote this song about it, and it's for anyone who's bought their insurance of a Russian oligarch meerkat. <laughs> and anyone who thinks a gravel drive is a really good idea. No, not that it isn't. So. <laughs> no offence. Anyway, they're not going to book me. I'm coming home. I'm on my way. And when I get back home, it is home I'm going to stay. I've been away since early morning. Wish this queue of traffic that I'm in would move along. I've got a wife. She waits for me. When she hears my car on the gravel drive, she'll know it's 5.30 and we will sit and watch reality TV. Hope our faves not voted off, that would be tragedy. Cause I'm a member of the fourth all kind. My voice is just a whisper, anything loud is not loud. I am not extraordinary, I am just the ordinary man and woman. I pay my taxes working in an office and on the land. I am the strong foundation on which this crumbling country stands. I like Sky Sports. Go to Ikea At the moment I drink rosé wine and European beer But that might change You can bet on that 
See, I used to like Flat Eric. Now it's Muscovite meerkats. Cause I'm a member of the fourth all kind. My voice is just a whisper. Anything loud is not loud. I am not extraordinary. I am just the ordinary man. I pay my taxes working in an office and on the land. I am the strong foundation on which this crumbling country stands. When they say the cuts are deep, it is to me that they will creep. And I will gladly take the strain again. We are Atlas, Hercules, the only gods down on our knees. Paying for duck islands, moats and pornography. But that's okay, cause we live in the best democracy. And that's why Tony Blair shook hands with Colonel Gaddafi. And when I die, they'll say I'm great. They'll pour my son into the jelly mold that I vacate. And he will think a lot like me eventually. So the cycle starts again in perpetuity. <laughs> I'm a member of the fourth all crowd. My voice is just a whisper, anything loud is not loud. I am not extraordinary, I am just an ordinary man and woman. I pay my taxes working in an office and on the land. I am the strong foundation on which this crumbling country stands. We are the strong foundation on which this crumbling country stands. I am the strong foundation on which this crumbling country stands. I'm coming home. I'm on my way. That's your line. I'm coming home, I'm on my way. No, louder. I'm coming home. No, 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 you just wait for me to do it and then you join in. I'm no, no, no. <laughs> Isn't it annoying when you're told what to do in England? I'm coming home. That's it. I'm coming home. Now, just people who are annoyed that he left the apostrophe out of it. Ready? I'm coming home. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks, Jerry. Okay, so John Wilkes, journalist, um, world knowledge on folk music, um, great, great folk singer. Anything else that I've missed out? Um, that do? You know, he knows all the movers and shakers in the folk world. About to go on tour with Martin Carthy. Yep. yep. I know. Yeah. And but tonight. Obviously, he is the pinnacle of all of that. <laughs> so, um, could I just welcome onto the stage, please, John Wilkes! Yay! Yay! Thank you very much. All good? Okay. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Good? It's nice to be here, very nice to be here. I've never been to Margate before. It is a shame, isn't it? I plan to do it again already. I was just walking here past the sea, 
And being in landlocked North Hampshire, where I live, I don't get to see the sea very often, so I, I'm feeling a little nautical. So if you'll indulge me, I'm going to sing a very old sea song. <laughs> Five cold frosty nights Five cold frosty nights and four days It was there we espied a lofty tall ship She's come bearing down on us
very much. I'll get my plug in now, shall I? Um, I learned that from the singing of a chap called Sam Lana. Are, you, are we all folkies in this room? Are, are there people here who don't know what I'm talking about if I talk about songs being collected from people and that kind of thing? Feel free just to give me a sort of, yeah, a little nod, like a sort of auction thing. Good. Okay, so very, very briefly, when I talk about collecting, we're talking about traditional songs, songs that nobody knows who wrote them. Nobody knows where they really came from. That's not strictly true. We kind of know that they came from different areas of the country. I often call them songs with postcodes because you can find them. You can go and find where they came from. Uh, for example, the town that I live in at the moment, Whitchurch in Hampshire, 11 songs were collected in Whitchurch in Hampshire on a little road called the Weir, and they were collected in 1906, and they were collected by a man called George Gardner, and they were collected from a man called Henry Lee, who was a, who was a gardener, who was a, a, an agricultural worker. Uh, and George Gardner was interested in preserving these songs, these traditional songs, and writing them down and storing them in places. Storing in places in in specific place. They now live in Cecil Sharp House in London, mainly. But those songs included things like The Wild Rover, which are you know pretty famous songs now, and If I Were a Blackbird, that kind of thing. Very beautiful songs. So that one I just sang came from the sea. Not No postcode for that one. And it came from a guy called Sam Lana, who was a, who was a fisherman a herring fisherman who sailed up and down the east coast and he learned most he went to sea when he was 11 years old in 1890 and uh, he he stayed on the sea until he was in his 60s and he learned he learned all these songs that he was eventually able to pass on when he was still in his 80s Martin Carthy who Morag just mentioned says that that song that I just played not my version I should add was the song that made him want to start being a folk singer in the first place. And yes, I'm going on tour with him. We're going on tour, uh, doing a talk tour. We're talking about various things to do with his lengthy, I'm not allowed to say the word career, he doesn't like it. His lengthy whatever this is, as he terms it. And uh, we'll be going around and telling those stories. I'm going to play a song now that doesn't have a postcode either, so I haven't started terribly well. And this is not a traditional song. This comes from, uh, it comes from the singing of the blues singer Charlie Patton. And it's got the name. You can shake it, you can break it, but don't let it fall, mama. You can shake it, you can break it, you can hang it on the wall out the window Right before it falls You can shake it, you can break it, you can hang it on the wall out the window Just before it falls, my jelly, my roll Sweet mama, don't you let it fall Everyone got a jelly roll like mine And I've been in town and I'm blue all the time and I'm But when the sun goes down, my jelly, my roll Sweet mama, don't you let it fall you can twist it, you can shake it, you can have it, you can break it anyway That I love to get it and I'm out of my right mind And I'm gonna blow this town, my jelly, my roll Sweet mama, don't you let it fall I love to get it and I'm out of my right mind and I'm gonna blow this town my jelly my rose sweet mama don't you let it fall there ain't nobody here but me myself and I and I'm blue all the time and I'm when the sun goes down my jelly my rose sweet mama don't you let it fall you can shake it you can tweak it you can have it you can make it anyway I'd love to get it you can shake it you can break it you can have it you can it anyway, that I love to get it, my jelly, my rose, sweet mama, don't you let it fall, my jelly, my rose, sweet mama, don't you let it fall. Thank you very much.
just going to interrupt for one minute. I'm going to speak to the people at home to say, if you're enjoying this, which I'm sure you are, because it's brilliant. I need that guitar playing. shouldn't be allowed. Um, it's wonderful. If you could donate, please. We're an independent small venue. If you could donate, a, a few of you have. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Um, I was thinking, uh, as a suggestion, um, uh, John used to work on Time Out, which it was free. Uh, which is not a good suggestion, but um, you work, you've done work for Guardian, haven't you? And around about, you know, three, three to five pounds, I think, would be a lovely amount for you to send. Please, thank you very much. I mean, more's lovely. But um, for people who aren't in the room, uh, where can people get your um, CDs, whatever? Well, what a good question that is. Bandcamp is the best place to go. Okay. Look for me on Bandcamp, John Wilkes. There, J-O-N-W-I-L-K-S. Yep. important otherwise you'll get say again oh band camp friday oh, that means that if you uh, buy it tomorrow then i get all the money band camp gives all their fees or most of their fees to the artists so. good for them thank you right back to john Milks. thank you thank very you. much so um i made an album earlier this year at least an album and it goes by the name of before I knew what had begun, I had already lost. And, ooh, yes. And it got, uh, it got Folk Album of the Month in The Guardian, actually, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. A round of applause, very nice. I, I knew it was gonna happen. And, and I don't mean that in a cocky kind of way. I mean, they wrote to me just beforehand and told me. And uh, they were asking for photos. Um, and they said it's going to be published on Friday morning, the, the review. And so on that Friday morning, I went online and I was sitting there pressing refresh, 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 waiting for this review to pop up. And eventually it popped up. And I did the stupid thing. I didn't read the review. I went straight to the bottom. Um, and I have to say, I don't know if any of you have ever been in The Guardian or you've ever had Folk Album of the Month in The Guardian. <laughs> um, only last week. Very, very good. Well done. Um, but the, 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 the hint, the little tip I'd give you if you're in The Guardian is just don't read the comments. And that's the mistake that I made. I went down, rather than reading the review, I went straight to the comments. And the first comment there, uh, they got there before me, but the first comment there just said one line, and it just said, hate the title. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> and so, Carthy. say again, it was Martin Carthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Martin Carthy, he's a bit like, hanging out with him, he's a bit like folk Yoda. He's got this mantra, he goes, simplify, simplify. Whenever I'm playing anything, he just goes, simplify. Um, which I ignore largely. Um, I don't ignore, ignore much that he says, but in that case, I, maybe I should have simplified the title. But when I, was, when I read that, it reminded me of a little story of when I went playing up north. I can't remember where it was, but I went playing up north a few years ago, and I, was, I got to the interval, and there was a merch desk, and there was a, there was a line of about 20 people waiting to get to the merch desk just as there will be at, at the interval tonight right and so 20 people and at the back there was this little old couple and it took them ages to get to the front and they were all dressed up lovely for the night out and uh the man who obviously had the voice box for the evening he said uh he got to the front and they they took their time they got to the front and stood up in front of me and he said I just wanted to say, John, thanks so much for coming all of this way. But for Jean and I, it really wasn't our cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, I don't know what it is with some folk audiences. There doesn't be seem to be a filter between what happens up here and what goes on down here or in the hands. I'm going to play a song off that album. <laughs> Uh, this is a song that I wrote. Um, it's called Greek Street. Uh, it may be the only folk song you hear with the word Lewisham in it. <laughs> I don't know why that gets a laugh every time, because 
Lewisham's a place too, it has feelings. It deserves its songs, but this is Greek Street. It's of a Soho morning In shades of dirty grey At 6am well I've stumbled Once more into the day The streets in need of hosing down To wash away the gloom And I was 19 years of age The time has gone so soon T'was there I spied a maiden With glitter in her hair and it fell in shards of crimson And it lit the morning air She's teetered on her platform heels And scaffolded my mind Me without a hard hat on Just begging to be fined And I would recommend And I'd write it in a song Night that ends on Greek Street With the rising of the sun To anybody on Well she took her name from winter No Robin went without and she's fluttered on the petrol breeze As Neon picked her out The soul of Cambridge Circus A phoenix from the frost Before I knew what had begun I had already lost So it took a bus to Lewisham Where a mother had a place And against the kitchen sideboard Well I've kissed her on the face and on a Swedish packing bed I've kissed a naked breast And it wasn't until the midnight moon We stopped to take a rest Yes, I would recommend it And I'd write it in a song A night that ends on Greek Street with the rising of the sun To anybody young It's strange what I remember, it's strange what I recall I don't remember conversations, I don't remember words at all I remember trips to Brighton, wrapped warm against the cold I remember thinking time had stopped and we would not grow old But that's the wonder of the transient, a sense of life alive it's the magic of the twilight stars And fingers intertwine And fingers then unravel and Distance in the sheets And distance in the way She's gazed way back on down the street Yes, I would recommend And I'd write it in a song Night that ends on Greek Street With the rising of the sun To anybody young Well, 
Well, we've lingered in the summer months, my winter maid and me. And on those Soho evenings, I've loved her tenderly. But by the time the autumn came, her eye began to roam. And I've wandered back to Lewisham, all longing and alone. So she's took a Swedish packing bed for some other blade to game. And I've tried my best to blame her. But the blame, it never came For she was but eighteen years of age And barely in her bloom That one sweet misty morning On old Greek street in the gloom Yes, I would recommend And I'd write it in a song A night that ends on Greek street the rising of the sun to anybody young Thank you very much. Are, are you singers? Yeah. Are you? Are you singers? Good. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to do a, a song from the Midlands, because I'm from the Midlands originally. Just like Jerry. Um, I'll just stick that there for now. There it is. It's behind me. Thank you. Um, does anybody remember a guy called Phil Drabble? Yeah, that, that's an, that's an age-related question, isn't it? Uh, Phil Drabble. Who was Phil Drabble? One Man and His Dog. He was a TV presenter, and he presented One Man and His Dog from about 1968 to 1992. You don't get that level of geeky information at other people's gigs, I promise you. And uh, Phil Drabble was an accidental song collector in that he used to travel around and he would uh he was a historian really he'd make notes about local culture and local history uh, particularly in the black country um if you're not sure where the black country is it's about eight miles to the west of birmingham and when you try and do your fake birmingham accents you nearly always do a black country accent and if you were to do that in front of either a Birmingham person or a black country person, they would kill you. <laughs> they do not like that at all. Don't get them mixed up. So, Phil Drabble stumbled in 1942. He stumbled into a pub called the Cross Guns, which was in Cradley Heath in the black country. And uh, there, there was a chap called Joe Mallon, who was a pub owner and a, and a Staffordshire Bull Terrier breeder and a man with a voice like an angel. And uh, he would sing every week and he'd get his locals to sing with him because there was no piped music back then. You just make your own entertainment. And Phil Drabble started noting these songs down. And this is one of the songs that he noted down. It's called The Tramp's Philosophy. And it's... Uh, it's got a chorus that I'm not going to teach you. Um, I'm going to test you. Um, most places that I go seem to pick it up by the end and sing in full voice. So let's see how you get on. I think it was Farnham that was the only place that you couldn't do it. So whatever you tomorrow. Well, you can't put a stop to misfortune. For whatever will be, will be. And I might have been up in the world like you. And you might have been down like me. Well, he looks just like a scarecrow, says one fella there. Like a bag of old rags left untied. 
And the sportsman they laughed at the joke of their friend. And the tramp, he's looked up and he sighed. You may laugh, you may chaff, just because I am down in the world. When you find out to your sorrow, you're up today and down tomorrow. Well, you can't put a stop to misfortune, for whatever will be. Very good, Margate. <laughs> well, you might have been up in the world like you, and you might have been down like me. Okay, this is the best line, and it might be the best line of my gig, so do listen carefully. Ooh. Misfortune, it came down through the top of my hat. Isn't that good? Yeah. Isn't that a good line? I'll do it again. Misfortune, it came down through the top of my hat, and lower and lower I feel. And from this day to that, when the sportsmen they met, they'd recount the old tramp's ordeal. You may laugh, you may chaff, just because I am down in the world. When you find out to your sorrow, you're up today. Well, you can't put a stop to misfortune for whatever will be. And I might have been up in the world like you, and you might have been down Thank you. Very good. I'll do two more for you, and then we have a little break. Um, I think that's right, isn't it? I mean, I can keep going, but... Um, Usually I'm interested in those Midland songs. That's, that's what my interest is. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a minute. But the albums that I've got over there, should you want to come and purchase any of my tat. Um, there's two albums there that are, are mostly songs from the Midlands. And then there's one album which isn't. Uh, it's the one that isn't that the Guardian got gave me the review for, so maybe that says something. Um. But this one I'm going to play now is neither traditional nor my own. This is a song by the Incredible String Band. Whoa. Psychedelic England from the 1960s. That's where we're going now. Hold tight indeed. If you know, you can join in, but it's called the October Song, fittingly. I'll sing you this October song Though there is no song before it The words and tune Are none of my own All my joys and sorrows bore it Beside the sea Of Bramley Briars In the still of evening Birds fly out behind the sun with the mile believing. The 
autumn leaves that jewel the ground they know the art of dying they fall with joy in their glad gold hearts and their scarlet shadows lying when hunger calls my footsteps home the morning follows after swim the seas inside my mind the pine trees laugh green laughter used to search for happiness I used to follow pleasure I found a door beside my mind and that's my greatest treasure some rulers lie to lay down laws rebels like to break them Poor priests like to march in chains and God likes to forsake them I knew a man his name was time he said I must be going but just how long? A go that was I have no way of knowing Sometimes I want to murder time Sometimes when my heart's aching But mostly I'll just stroll along the path that he is taking and I've got one more, okay. Don't look. Just two, got it, got it. Say the name. Alan Clayton. What have you won? You've won a CD. Or a toilet roll. No, no, just uh, you lucky, lucky man, Andrew Ogden. <laughs> there you go. Stewarding, stewarding One more song. So I got interested in these traditional songs lo uh, some time ago, and as I've talked to you about the idea that they're songs with a postcode, we know where they come from. And when I say that, we're talking about we know who used to sing them, and they meant something to the people who used to sing them, so much so that when these collectors would walk into certain areas of the country and say, do you know any old songs? They would usually point to somebody in the town who knew these traditional songs, who knew, they wouldn't have known them as traditional songs, they would have just known them as the old songs, and they would, they would sing them, and all the people would be able to join in because these were the songs that meant something to them locally. Uh, I did read a funny thing about again about the town that I lived in Whitchurch when they in Hampshire when they first walked into that town when the collector came in and knocked on the first door he said he said do you know any of the old songs and the woman said no old songs here not today thank you <laughs> thinking that he was trying to sell old songs to her um I was interested because I'm from from the Midlands I thought I should go back to the Midlands and find out the songs uh of my people. And so I did that. Um, I left Birmingham 
as a place to live when I was 18 years old and I went and lived abroad. As Morag said, I was, I was the uh, editor of Time Out magazine and various things, and I did that in Japan and all sorts of places. Um, and uh, I would go back occasionally to, to the Midlands, um, but usually to the outskirts where my family lived, and uh, you know, I'd see them at Christmas and that kind of thing but never to the center, and it was about 20 years I realized that I hadn't been to the center of, of town. In about 2014 or 15, my daughter was getting interested in history, and she was about eight years old at the time. So I said, let's go back to where I come from and we'll see, see what we can see. So we took a train up from Hampshire to what I thought was Birmingham New Street, uh, which is now Grand Central. Um, so that was a surprise. I got off the train in Grand Central to find that it was not a station, but some kind of spaceship that had landed in the middle of the city. And I, first of all, had to get out of that spaceship, which was a challenge in itself. Managed to find my way out of the spaceship into the streets, largely New Street, the main street in Birmingham, which has sat there since about 12.50. It's grown a bit, but it's sat there since about 12.50. And, uh, and in the 1990s, I spent a lot of my time carousing there. I stepped out of the station onto what I thought was New Street, and I was completely lost. And my daughter was looking at me and going, you're not really from Birmingham, are you? <laughs> and uh, we eventually found our way across town, and we got to Birmingham Museum. And we went upstairs, and there was an exhibition about the city in its former self. What it, how it had gone through the Industrial Revolution and all of those kind of things. And there was a wall, and on that wall there were tons of buttons. And if you pressed one of the buttons, you would hear an old boy or an old girl telling a story or singing a song about the city. The first button I pressed was an old boy singing a song about how he'd left Birmingham. He'd come back 20 years later, and he'd got completely lost. <laughs> I thought, I'm having that. <laughs> and uh, you don't really have to um, be from Birmingham to sort of get this because it's just really about change. When I found the song, the lyrics on the old broadside ballad, the, the lyrics were in a, in a form of archaic Brummie. So not even Brummie that would confuse you lot, but archaic Brummie, which is not really even human. And, and I didn't really understand what it said at all. Um, and there were sections of it that I could totally understand and then verses that were just gibberish. And so I had to rewrite some of them, but I thought that's okay because it, the song's about a place that's changing. And so we need to adapt songs like this so that they fit. I don't know if anybody's ever been to Birmingham at any point in the last 30 years and been to, there was a pub called The Ship Ashore there's a nightclub called Snobs. Anybody meant, did somebody? Yep, somebody knows Snobs. Two, one, two, we got two Snobs people, okay. So you, three, okay. Yep, Barbarellas, okay. Great, so I had to stick those songs, that's what I'm going on about in this song. So the song is called I Can't Find Brummagem. Brummagem being the old nickname for Birmingham. And it goes like this. Oh, and do come and see me uh, in the interval and buy CDs so I can afford the train out of here. Uh, or, or just abuse me like those people in the North did. I don't mind what you do, just come and talk. Full 20 year or more have passed since I left Brummagen, but I set out for home at last. To good old Brummagen, but every place is altered so there's hardly a place that I would know. It fills my heart with grief and woe. I can't find Brummagen. As I was walking down our street, as used to be in Brummagen, I now nobody I did meet. There's no one there in Brummagen. And special streets, the great and known, and so the old church stands alone, and poor old I stands here to groan. I can't find Brummagen. I 
on Fridays to the ship ashore. We set sail for Brummagen from the ship to Snobs. We'd go once more the heady nights of Brummagen. And though it all feels safer now, this cleanliness won't do somehow. This dick was here, I wouldn't know. Miss the rogues of Brummagen. Well, I remember one John Grouse, he buckles made in Brummagen. He built himself a country house to be out the smokes of Brummagen. And though John's country house stands still, the town itself walked up the hill. Now he lives beside a smoky mill in the middle of the streets of Brummagen. Yes. Among the changes that abound in good old Brummagen, may trade and happiness be found in good old Brummagen. And though no ship ashore we've got, and special streets a coffee shop, may we always have enough for a cup of milk within Brummagen. Thank you. Thank you. John Wilkes, thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> now, for the, for the benefit of the people at home, I'd just like to thank um, Jerry Colvin. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Horse Thieves. Yep. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Now, next week we have CJ and Dave Rie. CJ played cricket for the English women's cricket team, but is also a great singer, and I think lots of you know her. And Dave Rie is a fantastic guitarist. The following week we've got Dave Farrer and Katie Bradley, who are going to play the blues. And on the 14th we've got a blues um, workshop here. So if you want to do slide and blues guitar, come along here at 2 o'clock on the 14th with Dave Ferrer. The following week, the 26th, we've got Mossy Christian, who is just gorgeous all around. Yeah, just lovely. Yeah, just come come because he's gorgeous and he's very talented <laughs> and lovely. Yeah. Is he, is he? Well, he is, isn't he? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I think yeah. so. I think, yes, he is. Have yeah. you seen one or two photos? But... Oh, I've been oh in the gosh. room with him, believe me. <laughs> yeah, believe me, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, thank you, John Wilkes, again. We're going to have a break. You at home, you can do whatever you like. You're free. You're free to go. We're going to have a break, and then we're going to do it all again. So, um, th my name's Maureen Butler. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye. <laughs> Bye.